will hear the little, there it is. You'll hear the little uh, message letting you know that it's being recorded for posterity. So let's kick it off a little bit and talk about what is e for all and what are we doing here? So e for all is a 501c3 nonprofit, um, Entrepreneurship for All. We offer a business accelerator program free of charge to ambitious Cape Codders to get them connected with tools, resources, subject matter experts, and mentor teams to help them launch and grow their businesses. Um, so we are, uh, that's the meat and potatoes of what we do. We do that program twice a year. And tonight, we are celebrating this beautiful group of people, the fall 2021 cohort. Yeah. Um, so let's unmute and make some noise. Come on, unmute, guys. Yay. So here's what you guys can expect. Um, we're going to, obviously, we're doing our little intro here. We're going to give you a chance to meet the entrepreneurs. They're going to do their one-minute elevator pitch. Um, so you can find out a little bit about them. Um, we're excited to welcome Jenny Wheeler of Family uh, the Family Collaborative um, as our keynote speaker. Um, we have our class speakers, uh, Monica and Candice uh, from Glass Over Tea Kettle. We'll, we will award some cash and we'll be out of here by um, 7.30. So uh, let's keep on rolling. Um, yeah, so this is a celebration. Um, it's feel free, make sure you've got your glass of champagne or the beverage of your choice, eat, drink, live it up, enjoy yourself. Okay, at certain points, you're going to want to feel like you want to yell, scream, celebrate, all that good stuff. Just in case you're unsure about when that happens, we cue you too. Um, so don't feel like you have to wait for this slide when you feel inspired, do it. But when you see this slide, um, you absolutely need to unmute and celebrate. And when I say unmute and celebrate, I'd like you to make enough noise that the neighbors on the next street over are a little bit conf confused about what's happening at your house. So we need to practice this. OK, so can I have everybody unmute? All right, I see it. All right, let's do it. Make some noise. <laughs> All right, I feel really positive about your ability to participate. Thank you very much. I am very happy about this. I don't think they're going to have an issue, man. Um, we also want to recognize that tonight we have a bunch of mentors in the room. Um, they are integral to this process. Kristen and I, you know, run the program and we do all of the technical stuff. But, you know, the strength of this program lies in the many, many, many people who volunteer to help and serve as mentors and a board of advisors and the sanity check and reality check for our entrepreneurs. We'll accept a maximum of 15 entrepreneurs into each cohort, which means 45 mentors, 45 people um, who have volunteered to give their time, their expertise, and just a listening ear. So um, we just want to recognize and say thank you, um, because without you guys, this, this program wouldn't exist in, in anything close to the form that we have right now. Hey. <laughs> that being said, Kristen. Yeah, so we are headed into our spring 22 round. And as always, we're always looking for some really great mentors. Um, so just so you, the, the I, it, I see the folks in the room and it seems like you guys are the, the people that we know. Um, and so certainly if you were a mentor this round, I haven't gone back around um, and, and said, hey, are you interested in, in doing this again in the spring? But I'll, I'll be doing that very shortly because we kick it off in... Um, a couple of weeks here. Um, but if you know of someone who would be excellent, we, we always lose a few folks who need a little bit of a break. Um, and so if you know of someone who'd be a great mentor, we're always looking for a really good recommendation. So if you know of somebody, please just have them email me at kristen at eforall.org. Um, and if you can't remember how to spell my name, kate at eforall.org will we'll get to us. Um, I'm going to Go ahead and skip that. The spring 2022 accelerator applications, those are currently open and we're seeing a really good response this, this year. I would say, Kai, do you think that we've seen this many applications ever in the portal? 
at this time? No, not at this time. We've got a lot of people early yeah. who are really getting into it early. Yeah. Um, so really good news. Lots of folks who are looking to start a business here on the Cape. Um, but if you know of someone who should apply, please encourage them to, to come on over to eforall.org and apply. The deadline is in a couple of weeks here, um, Wednesday, January 19th at noon. Um, so. And I'm, I'm offering lots of open office, open office hours for anybody who just wants to find out more and find out if it feels like a fit for them. So you can always refer them over for that too, if they just want to ask questions. Yep. Amanda, eforall.org or cape at eforall.org. Um, Amanda, you want to give folks context of why we're here, how we got here? Yeah. So um, these guys have a one-year program. The first three months is known as the intensive period where they have um, structured classes, um, curriculum, subject matter experts, which all leads up to their capstone project, which is final presentations. During those final presentations, they have 10 minutes to discuss eight specific points in front of an audience and a panel of judges. And then they have 10 minutes of question and answer as they are peppered with questions um, from the judges. Uh, so tonight we are going to learn the results of what's happened over those last three months, learn some more about each of the entrepreneurs. Um, and you know, we'll, we will tally up the results and, and give you some ideas about um, who's been awarded money. Some of that comes from the final presentation score from the judges. Some of that comes from their participation during the accelerator. And some of it comes from class ranking as the cohort votes for each other as well. And we just want to recognize again, um, we, you know, Kristen and I are the face of you for all, but we absolutely do not do this alone. Um, we have a active and vibrant board who helps us with outreach and fundraising, our mentors, as we mentioned, we have our subject matter experts who come in and volunteer to teach classes, um, our judges panel who give their time to be able to listen, um, think, ask thoughtful questions and provide um, constructive feedback for our entrepreneurs. Um, our, our entrepreneurs were selected in part with our pool of volunteers who um, read and helped us interview applicants. Um, and then we just have folks who help us just day to day with stuff that's going on. Um, so, you know, just a, a big thank you to the e for all fam, um, because this is definitely a community effort. And again, Kristen and I are incredibly grateful that there are so many people on Cape Cod and the surrounding areas who have this sense of community and responsibility and paying it forward. We really appreciate everything that you do, not only for us, but for our entrepreneurs and for our community. So um, can we have a round of applause for everybody who's been part of this process? We appreciate you guys. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. The last thing that we want to acknowledge is friends and family. Um, when the entrepreneurs come into this program, I tell them that it's almost like picking up a part-time job, right? It is an enormous uh, uh, investment of their time and energy. And what that means is that somebody at home has to pick up the slack. Um, and so we know that a lot of you family and friends have been there in giving your support, whether it's moral or practical. Um, and freeing up the space and energy for these guys to pursue this program and to continue pursuing their their business um their business dreams so thank you friends and family entrepreneurs let's hear it for them Woo! Yeah. and we also want to take a moment to say thank you to our sponsors whenever we talk about this program to potential entrepreneurs um, the question is always kind of like, well, what's the catch? Like, wait, it's free? Wait, you get classes, you get mentors, you help me build this business. And uh, the beauty is that we just find uh, people and organizations that are interested in economic development through entrepreneurship. So just empowering locals to start these businesses. And so these are some of the people that um, have stepped up to the plate uh, to support this program and make sure that it, it is free and that it stays free. Um, so that includes Mass Growth Capital Corporation, um, Martha's Vineyard Bank, uh, the Barnstable County License Plate Grant, uh, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts EOHED Urban Agenda Grant for a project that we have um, with Provincetown Commons in Provincetown. Uh, and we also just want to have some special recognition for Bank Five. 
Uh, Bank Five um, is our Southern New England regional sponsor. And as a part of that, um, they have committed $25,000 a year um, in 2021, 2022, and 2023. So for $75,000 total um, to e for all Cape Cod, which is huge for us. So big thanks to Bank Five. Um, uh, tonight, I wanted to make a special recognition to the Cape Cod Foundation, specifically um, the Gene B. Edgerly Memorial Fund and the Murray and Eleanor Rust Fund. Um, they're making a special impact tonight because uh, they gave us a grant for $10,000 that's going to be given away directly to entrepreneurs tonight. Um, so big thanks. The, the money's coming straight, straight from there. And while we're on the subject, I think we have Representative Diggs on the phone. Uh, but before um, we talk with him, I just wanted to, to mention he's been a huge advocate for us. Um, so Kip Diggs is our state rep for the second Barnstable district where he represents 10 precincts in Barnstable and two in Yarmouth. Um, he serves on the Joint Committee on Economic Development and Emerging Technologies, the Joint Committee on Education, Joint Committee on Healthcare Financing, the Joint Committee on Housing, and the Joint Committee on Tourism, Arts, and Cultural Development. I do want to give a very warm welcome and a very special thank you to Rep Diggs, um, who just a few weeks ago really stepped up in a very big way on behalf of EFRAL's work to launch these new businesses on Cape Cod um, by adding $50,000 in program support for EFRAL to a state bill um, for COVID-19 recovery. And then the bill was recently signed by the governor. And that that is huge for us. So um, with that, um, I want to give... Uh, Rep Diggs an opportunity to, to um, say a few words if, if you're there. Hi, everybody. Thank you for having me. And Kristen, I mean, you know, when you first, when we first met, you know, I just knew that we, you had a connection. You were, I could see the hunger that you had and, and you, you were caring about everybody. And, um, you know, when I was running, it was, I said, it was not about me. It's about we. And that was what e for all to me is all about. And, I also was a, had a small business at one time. So, you know, everybody needs a chance to be able to have an opportunity to have a great business. And uh, if you stick to your guns and you, you know, everything doesn't always work at first, but you just keep working at it and, and it happens. And uh, I'm very happy to be working with you guys and with Senator Sear for getting this money for you guys. and. Uh, you know, I look forward to doing business with you guys more and uh, congratulations and um, celebrate a great night. Congratulations, everybody. Excellent. Can we unmute and uh, give a round of applause for sponsors and Rep Diggs? Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hey. So thanks again to Rep Diggs for joining us tonight. Um, now it is time to meet the entrepreneurs. Amanda, you want to kick it off for us? I sure do. And I'm going to ask Ashley Irene Boutique to start us off. Um, let's give people a sense of who you are and what do you do? Hi, everyone. I'm Ashley Irene, uh, owner and founder of Ashley Irene Boutique, uh, which is an online women's clothing boutique. Um, and what makes us unique is that we help women shop for their body shape. So we understand that you're more than a number. Uh, you're a unique shape and we help shop for that shape online and with personalized shopping appointments. Excellent, thank you. Next, I'm gonna ask uh, Margo of Communication Savvy. Hi everybody, I'm Margo Cahoon from Communication Savvy, a full service marketing communications agency specializing in project and social media management. Um, together with my team of talented specialists, we help businesses achieve their strategic goals with branding, copywriting, materials development, uh, design, photos, and videography. Um, my customer segment is small to mid-sized Cape Cod businesses that don't have their own marketing staff and nonprofit organizations. Awesome, thank you. Can we hear from Glass Over Tea Kettle next? Hi, everybody. I am Monica Collier. I'm Candace Collier. And we are the owners and artists at Glass Over Tea Kettle. We create one of a kind stained glass. With yeah, and we're moving stained glass away from church windows and into modern home decor. And all of our creations are 100% original and wicked awesome. 
from start to finish. Yeah, we hand draw every pattern. We hand cut every piece of glass right here in our home studio on Cape Cod. And we make everything from small sun catchers and plants you can't kill all the way up to large statement pieces and business logos. Yeah, and no matter the scope of the project, we infuse everything we make with passion and authenticity because we love spreading joy through our art. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Um, can we hear from Maraid of Harlow Creative next? Hi everyone, I'm Maraid McGonigal. I'm the founder of Harlow Creative. We're an innovative digital marketing and social media agency. We focus on small businesses, boutiques, and the creators and curators of Cape Cod grow their businesses and strengthen their digital footprint. Outstanding, thank you. Can we hear from Natisia of Mini Me Clothing Boutique next? Hi everyone, so I'm Natisia, an owner of Mini Me Clothing Boutique, where um, we specialize in sheet, versatile, and classic sets for the busy working mom and professional woman to enhance their unique styles. Awesome, thank you. How about Nolan from Nolan's Nana Bread? Hello everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining us here to celebrate our night. Um, my name is Nolan Liskoff. I'm the founder, CEO, and one and only baker at Nolan's Nana Bread. Um, Nolan's Nana Bread is a specialty banana bread company that I founded in May 2019 when I was just a sophomore in high school. Um, I create my banana bread locally in small batches with no preservatives. And I say my Loaf of banana bread represents a little loaf of happiness. Um, I love spreading joy and happiness throughout the world. Um, and I want to thank you for all and everyone a part of it. Um, you know, when I started it in uh, high school, it was a hobby. Um, and now I'm turning it into a business. So thank you, everyone, that helped me to do that. And that's who I am. Awesome. Thank you. Um, Emily, can you tell us about the Pans Party Project? Hey everyone, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm excited for those of you who don't know me. My name is Emily Johnson. I'm a community builder and a self-care expert. I also happen to be the mother of a special needs child with an autoimmune brain disorder. I founded an online community that helps support isolated and overwhelmed special needs parents by providing services such as self-care support programs, as well as parent coaching through our peer network. We believe in the healing power of connection to community. We believe that there's room at the table for both grief and joy to sit together. And our services ensure that special needs parents don't need to travel alone through their journey. Thanks so much. Excellent, thank you. Shauna, can you tell us about your business? Sure, my name is Shauna Daly and I am planning to open Peregrine Salt. Um, a vibrant co-working community and meeting space um, in the mid to lower Cape area. Um, and my goal is not to just to provide um, internet and coffee, um, although those are important. Um, it's to provide a place for people to build community and, um, and their networks, um, particularly for the folks who, the large number of people who are moving to the Cape full time um, while they're still mid-career. Excellent. Thank you. Um, next, we'll hear from Kayla of the Spiritual Spectrum. Before I begin, let me ask you all a few questions. Are you currently at a place in your life where you feel confused and you need some direction on where to go next? Are you struggling with the loss of a loved one? Are you currently feeling as though that you'd really like to amp up your physical well-being by participating in yoga and mindfulness meditation? If you answered yes to any of these questions, let me introduce myself. My name is Kayla Fitzpatrick and I'm the proud owner of the spiritual spectrum. I am a psychic medium specializing in Reiki, but not limited to. I will be receiving my yoga certification and my mind, mindfulness meditation certification as well in the near future. Uh, the mission of the spiritual spectrum is to create a safe haven to have all of your spiritual, mental, and physical wellness needs met. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kayla. And we'll hear from Ashley McArdle of Willow & Co. next. Hi, uh, my name is Ashley McArdle. I am the creator of Willow & Co., which is a home organization and interior styling business. Uh, we offer a variety of different home organization packages, as well as different room designs for interior styling. 
um, working one-on-one -on -one with clients to create their ideal vision. Awesome. Thank you so much. And that is the cohort. Um, we are so excited to be uh, celebrating all of you tonight. One of the things that is a lot of fun um, is the relationships that are built. Uh, these guys have been together through challenges that they've overcome um, and celebrating these, each other's wins. And actually, I believe the cohort has something that they want to present to one of their own. So Shauna, would you like to take the lead on this for us? Sure. Um, so, uh, you know, I think that uh, we have to celebrate the big wins um, and uh, I'm kind of a believer in in old school media. So um, Noticia was on the cover of the Cape Cod Times. Um, so we meant to give this in person, but um, we got it framed. And so at some point, Noticia will get this to you. Um, but um, hopefully it's something that you'll be able to, you know, really appreciate and look back on and um, and enjoy and hang in your store. So we'll get that to you next week. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's now. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Shauna. <laughs> it's from everyone. Thanks. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, Shauna. Um, and with that, I'll turn it back over to Kristen. So we did just want to quickly make sure that uh, folks do know that E4All Cape Cod does have a showcase store in Mashpee Commons. And so in the past, it's at 8 North Street. So it's kind of across from the Starbucks. And so the idea is um, get an E4All um, entrepreneur into the store for a six month period of time. And then there's no kind of regulations around it, but like ideally they're able to kind of build up their cash reserves and go into a regular rent store in the commons or some other place, just kind of get their feet under them. Um, and so e for all uh, is just a wonderful partnership with Mashpee Commons. Mashpee Commons, essentially what we'll do is we put out an application to the alumni and say, hey, are you interested in having a store? And folks apply. And then uh, Kai and I don't make any of the decisions. We just send it over to the commons. The commons says, okay, we want this person in the storefront. Um, and so we just went through that process. And um, so I just wanted to say that uh, the next Mashpee Commons tenant is Ashley Irun Boutique. <laughs> Ashley, do you want to say anything? <laughs> yeah, Ashley, that's amazing. I've cried for like a full day. Um, yeah, it's incredible. And I'm really, really, really excited. And thank you so much. And when do you expect to open? When can people? Mid-April and I'll do like a whole huge opening. Yay. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. Let me screen share again. I'm so excited to visit you whenever I want. I'm excited for you to visit me. So we are now at the time to do the keynote. Um, and so the keynote, uh, we're delighted to have Jenny Wheeler today. Um, Jenny has more than 20 years of experience as, as a successful entrepreneur and currently serves as founder and chief culinary artist of Jenny's Joy, a boutique prepared foods private chef and catering company. She specializes as an agent of creation and change in operational setup and oversight growth strategy, policy creation, and adoption of best practices. She has a passion for nutritious and delicious food and loves teaching through her online cooking show, Fun With Food, in conjunction with the Cape Cod Culinary Incubator. She also serves as vice chair of Leadership Cape Cod and is a 2019 graduate of their Community Leadership Institute program. Jenny obtained her MBA from Babson University in 2005 with a focus on social entrepreneurship. A longtime resident of the North Shore, Jenny made her way to Cape Cod after suffering significant injuries in an accident and requiring rehabilitation at Spalding. She's developed a true love for Cape Cod and the islands and is committed to fighting to end hunger and shift the focus to nutritional security. Well, we're so glad that uh, you are here on Cape with us, Jenny, and here tonight. Um, so with that, I'd like to hand it over to you for the keynote. Thank you. 
All right, so we can see you, Jenny. Ready when you are. Hi, guys. <laughs> Thank you for having me tonight. And first of all, I just want to start by saying congratulations to all of you. I'm so excited for each and every one of you. Having been an entrepreneur, um, I will say I started as an accidental entrepreneur. Um, and that's how I fell in love with the idea of being an entrepreneur. And it's what sent me back to business school. So first and foremost, I want you all to unmute yourselves for just a second and give yourselves a huge round of applause because you deserve it. Go ahead. <laughs> so I am honored, honored and privileged to be here this evening with you guys. Um, thank you for having me. Like I said, I started my journey as an accidental entrepreneur. I actually... Um, went to school and I was a swimmer. I was a national level swimmer. <clears throat> I was a division three All-American for Franklin and Marshall. And I was a butterflyer, which is where the shoulders come from um, and uh, a backstroker. <clears throat> and so I had swum, you know, my whole growing up and through college and high school. And so I obviously also started to lifeguard and teach and all of that stuff. And so in my early to mid twenties, I was the head of a swim program that was the most popular program. I'm a North Shore kid, so I am a wash ashore. I'll explain that in a second. Um, <clears throat> but I was a North Shore kid, born and raised um, in a city called Lynn. Um, and if you all know it, yes, Lynn, Lynn, city of sin, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah that's like, that's, that's where I come from. It's my hometown. <laughs> um, my grandmother was the first woman to run for mayor of Lynn. So I am like a born and bred Lynn city kid. Um, and basically, yes, city of sin. <laughs> Maybe that'll come up later in my presentation. Um, but basically I started a program that was the first a swim program to, it was the first to accept kids with disabilities. And um, what happened is it became wildly successful. Um, what you might call a cash cow business where I was kind of printing money. I was in my early twenties and it was, you know, I didn't really understand what I was doing. I loved it, but I didn't really have an appreciation for what I was doing. And I ran into zoning, zoning issues. Um, and so that actually sent me back to business school. Um, I had participated in politics a long time. I grew up in a political family um, and I went to Babson and everybody was like, are you sure? Like, you know, like, and at the time I had, a, I always had a love of cooking, a love for food. Um, I grew up in a pretty holistic household. We had huge gardens. We grew a lot of our own fruits and vegetables and my grandmother had been a chef. And so I grew up with this passion for food. But when I went back to business school, everybody, I almost went to culinary school and everybody said, no, no, don't ruin what you love by doing it for a living. I want each of you to think about that for a second as you're sitting in your journey right now. <laughs> so basically I went to business school and I graduated with my MBA. For those who know me, you will not be shocked to hear I was president of student body. And I sat as the head of the women's association and I chaired, I was the national chairperson of the 2005 National Association of Women MBA Conference, um, which launched Women MBA Magazine. And it's the first time the conference had ever been held in the Northeast. So I was very proud, but I really struggled personally with self-confidence. I, you know, as much as I was outwardly confident, I really struggled with purpose and figuring out kind of my path in the world. And so really, you know, I went to Babson, did all these things, great, went into entrepreneurship. Out of that, I became the chief operating officer of a good friend, my VP actually on the student body, went into tech, I'm not a tech person. And I said that to him when he tried to hire me, he was like, I need you. And I was like, Brian, I don't do tech. I do people. <laughs> like, and he said, I don't need you to do tech. I need you to do people. <laughs> and I became the chief operating officer as we were growing an international company. Um, <clears throat> and then decided I hit 40, single, no kids. And I was like, that wasn't the plan. This was not the plan. Um, and so I took a year off and paused and figured out like, you know, what do I want to do with my life? What, what does this, I had had some 
um, business success. I had had some financial success. I had had some major, major, maybe don't do that again moments. Um, and I was 40 single, no kids and hit the pause button. I took a year off and I ended up teaching seventh grade math to the worst at the worst inner city middle school in Lynn. And I did that to kind of figure out what was important to me and what do I want to do? And um, that was the year Jenny's Joy was born. So Jenny's Joy is my boutique prepared foods company, what started as boutique prepared food company. And it was gluten, a gluten-free company because my sister and my dad have to be gluten-free. And I basically was sick of cooking all the time and making things good enough for everyone to eat, but making two meals because it was gluten-free and non-gluten-free. And so I created Jenny's Joy and the whole goal behind it was this was about bringing others joy, which I recognized was super important to me while also bringing me joy. And I thought if this is gonna be the me, myself and I show, that's my goal, bring others joy, bring me joy. And that was amazing. And I was off to the races. Things were great. I was building out my own kitchen. I did do something that most entrepreneurs are told really not to do. I sold my house to self-fund my kitchen. <laughs> so wrap your heads around that. <laughs> um, I built a very conservative business plan. Um, I thought I was insulated from anything and everything. And I was <laughs> super excited. I was in talks with Starbucks and Costco. It was really amazing. I thought, this is it. This is what I'm meant to do. <clears throat> and then um, I will fast forward to the next part. I met a guy. I, it all went sideways, kids. <laughs> um, and this is where like my story gets a little bit sad. And I'm, you know, I'll say it with a little bit of humor. Um, but basically, I ended up, um, I got pregnant, which made me like, uh, stupefied at first. I was like, who does that? Who waits till their forties to get pregnant? <laughs> um, and then I had a horrific miscarriage in, uh, tipping into my second trimester. And then I had two more and it was really horrible. And I felt like this was a nightmare. Like I didn't deserve this. Um, I was so excited because he had kids. And so here, but here I am holding on to the fact that I'm building this business of my dreams, business of my dreams. Love it. Um, and then in horrific situation, I fell through a pub in Kentucky. <laughs> I was on a trip to Kentucky. My right heel fell through the fiberglass of a tub and I suffered massive injuries, a uh, traumatic brain injury, dislodged my ulnar nerve, uh, crushed the nerve Thanks. underneath it in my right elbow and tore my right hamstring. <laughs> so um, all of the work kind of went sideways. And the only reason I'm telling all of you this is because if you, if any of you, raise your hands just so I get a, who knows a little bit about what I do now? Raise your hand if, uh, if you know a little bit about what I do now. I'm just like scanning because you're on the bottom of my screen. Okay, so a lot of you know a little bit of what I do now. And the reason I'm telling you this story is because bad things happen to good people, guys. <laughs> Shit happens. And it was a tough road back for me. I lost everything. I never got to light a burner in my kitchen. Um, I literally lost everything and I almost lost my life. So I come to Cape Cod as a wash ashore um, against my will. I felt like I got deported here. <laughs> I was very upset. Um, and I was at Spalding uh, three, four days a week for almost two years. Um, but here's the thing, in order to be an entrepreneur, and I'm guessing all of you have a little of this in you, my passion, the thing I couldn't hide from became my purpose. So if you love what you do, if you're willing to work at it, if you're willing to listen, because you will never be your own best expert you need to be willing to listen and get feedback. Surround yourself with the best people. Being an entrepreneur doesn't mean you have to work alone. It means 
that you have a great idea. And a great idea can come from within a large company. It can be an idea that gets enacted within a large company, or it could mean starting your own company. And I've done both. And here's the thing. If you believe in what you do, it helps you find your voice. And if, you, your, if your passion becomes your purpose, it helps you find a path in life that cannot steer you wrong. Because you will all, you will all have triumphs and you will all have tears. All of you, I guarantee. I refer anybody that knows me and a couple of you do know that I fondly and somewhat jokingly refer to the personality that people see online with me as jazz hands. <laughs> jazz hands Jenny is what a lot of people I feel like is what they see in me. And guess what? That is true. That's truly me, but it's one side of me. Nobody can look like that or sound like that or be that personality every day. So all of you are gonna have moments where you have such excitement and so many wins and are gonna be humbled by some really tough moments. That doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. They're not losses, guys. They're lessons. And for every single one of you, I hope none of you follow, follow my story. I wouldn't wish my story on anyone. I wouldn't wish it on me. I barely survived it the first time. But what I do, what I am here to tell you is that all of you clearly love something, are passionate about something. And Cape Cod needs you. We need your passion. We need your purpose. We need you as an integral part of this community. Because the one thing that I want everyone to hear me say is this community built me. I was broken and this community built me. It rebuilt me. It brought me back to life and it's a debt I will never be able to repay. I used to welcome, as the president of the student body of Babson, I used to welcome every class by saying, I hope that you look around and you took the time, you take the time to meet one another, talk with one another, build networks. Because if you don't, you're missing at least half of what we have to offer you. And coming from the number one school in entrepreneurship, they weren't always super excited that I said that out loud. <laughs> but I recognize I'm coming to you during graduation and not at your orientation. But I'm gonna say the same thing to you as you move forward. Don't take this and go into your own universe and be isolated. You have, you have Will Rubenstein on the line with E for everything. <laughs> you have so many of us that are now your network. Utilize us. Take what we have to offer. Ask questions, bounce ideas off of us. Stay and create the community that you wanna be a part of. Because truly, when community stands up, there is nothing that's impossible. So I want to congratulate each of you on your successes. And I will, I actually didn't even say, so I am the co-founder of something I'm super proud of and I will kind of wrap this around. I should have started with this one. <laughs> um, I am the co-founder of the Family Table Collaborative. We have put more than 93,000 meals into the community. My focus is nutritional, nutritional dense meals. Um, a lot of people talk about food security. To me, food security is certainly important. It's driven almost solely by economics. Nutritional security is a national crisis and actually is driven not nearly as much by economics, but by convenience. We're all guilty of drive-throughs, of eating in the car, of not being mindful. Um, and so the reality is nutritional security is something that we really need to focus on because it matters for our mental health, our physical health. It impacts our relationships, our schooling, our jobs, our focus, 
all of you that are starting new companies, it's important. If you, I mean, I do this myself. I short change. I'll cook for everyone else. I'll come home and half the nights I'm like too tired to eat anything but cheese and crackers. Guess what? It's not helpful for me. And it's not helpful for either, any of you. So nutritional security is really important. We recently took over the Riverway, what used to be the Riverway Lobster House. We're doing, we're creating what is going to become a self-sustaining nonprofit. That means I'm creating revenue streams within the building and within what we're doing to help pay, help cover the costs of the Family Table Collaborative's mission, which is to end hunger and create nutritional security on Cape Cod. Um, I mentioned Will. Will and his wife are enormous, enormous, enormous part of my story. Um, we started at the Cape Codder where they donated all of their chefs and space. We moved it to Camp Wingate Kirkland when we got a little bit of money and he and his wife um, actually stepped in. They donated their chef in their kitchen and we paid their support staff. Um, and so we owe an enormous debt to CWK. And now we're at the Riverway and we're really excited about all the things coming up. We're about to launch kind of a ghost kitchen and pop-up takeout vibe because, you know, version 8,649, that number pivot, I think we're on with the Family Table Collaborative. We're going to do takeout because, you know, Omicron, whatever. <laughs> um, but we are super excited. Um, I was very excited to get ready to host you guys at my location. I'm super happy we're doing this because it's less fun to talk if you're masked. <laughs> and so at least I get to see your faces. Um, but I welcome every one of you to come visit me. I congratulate you on the success of graduating from this most amazing program. Um, I look forward to being a mentor in the future when I get just a hair more time. Um, I can't wait. I love teaching. I love mentoring. And again, please consider me. You have access to me uh, anytime if I can help you. But like I said, no one can do this alone, guys. I am blessed to be the face of an organization that I am beyond proud of. I do, I get to do something I love. I don't think anybody can love their job as much as I do. I really don't. I would, I would throw down over that it's hard to love your job more than I love what I'm doing. However, I don't do it alone. So for any of you that are starting businesses, I want to really put aside the facade that anything can be done in a vacuum. Include us, Find a kitchen cabinet that you can bounce ideas off of. Go back to your mentors, ask for help. It is so hard for a lot of us. And it took major injuries for me to be, learn how to ask for help. Um, but I did, and luckily it wasn't too late. So please, congratulations. Go out and soar, but be a part of the community. Give back, become mentors yourselves stand there and help another one, pay it forward. This is your community. None of us cannot can do this in a bubble, guys. So I applaud you. I am super excited for you. I am here for all of you. And I can't wait to see because I've sat as a, I've sat as a coach and as a judge on business plan competitions. And my business partner, Harry Henry, sat on one of the panels. So I'm super excited to see what happens next. It's a little bit like watching like The Voice. <laughs> If there's going to be like, you know, sparkly things that explode or come down on any of you, but I'm really excited to find out. So Kristen, I'm going to give it back to you. I was awesome. a little over, but close. <laughs> it was so awesome. Thank you, Jenny. And, and at this, I'm going to pass it over to Kai one more time. Thank you so much. Jenny. Actually, let's give it up for Jenny. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it for Jenny. Okay, <laughs> Thank you so much, Jenny. Really appreciate you and your perspective that you bring to it and the reminders of, you know, what's really important as we move forward. So we appreciate you, um, not only for what you, for speaking tonight, but also um, for what you're doing for Cape Cod. Um, so very exciting. Thank you. Um, tonight, we also wanted to ask uh, a class speaker to step forward. And the cohort has nominated the lovely ladies of Glass Over Tea Kettle to represent them um, and represent the cohort. So Monica and Candice, the floor is yours, ladies. 
Woo! Woohoo! All right. Yay us. Say bye. <laughs> Jenny Wheeler. Oh, we are so lucky that we got to listen to your story. We've heard so much about you. We've heard so much about your amazing endeavors. We're so, so honored, but it's really hard to follow you on a speech. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, this is the cohort's fault. They voted for us and hopefully they won't regret that decision, but um, we'll make them regret yeah. it. <laughs> so just a reminder, I'm Monica. Uh, we're Glass Over Tea Kettle. And I'm Candice. And as you guys know, we're artists who create one of a kind stained glass with a twist. So in early 2021, we decided to take our stained glass hobby and turn it into a business. And we launched Glass Over Tea Kettle. However, <laughs> we very quickly realized that we know how to be artists, but we need a lot of help when it comes to learning how to be business owners. So thankfully, a fellow artist at a festival that we were at, our first festival, yeah. recommended we check out e for all yeah, we were like, e for all. what's that? And we decided to give it a shot. And I don't know, it just uh, started happening. We suddenly weren't just doing this as a hobby anymore. And we had to learn things. We're really glad we did. And so we decided to make a list for you. Uh, things we wish we had known before we signed up for e for all. Yeah, this is a list we're gonna go over tonight. So we were going to do a top 10 list because we might be a little bit of overachievers, um, but we decided that we're going to narrow it down to five. You know, it's an accelerator. Course. Yes. So. <laughs> uh, so here are the top five things we wish we had known before joining you for all. Yeah. Uh, number, it away. <laughs> number five, um, we quit. That's it. You will quit. You will want to quit. This fantasy will come up during the E for All class. And we thought very long and hard a couple of times about just going back to it being a hobby and remaining oblivious, but um, you get to learn things. And so you don't quit, you keep going, you trust the process because the things you learn, um, let me give you my list here. Expenses, we had to pay attention to that. We were ignorant to that. Uh, marketing, budgeting, networking, trademarking, <laughs> insurance, font choice, <laughs> things like press releases, bank loans, channels, funnels. Oh yeah, and spreadsheets. Oh baby, um, we we were gonna quit. It just, it comes up. Your brain imagines what it would be like to quit, but we didn't. We trust the process. We kept going. We encourage you to do the same. Yes. Number four, there are unsupported people out there. Uh, as you start to succeed in your business, there are going to be folks who decide they want to turn on you a little bit. Might be friends, neighbors, even family. And uh, it's a little bit surprising. It was for us at least. Um, but if you listen to the naysayers and their underhanded advice, uh, you might start thinking they're right. So e for all is a program that is nothing but support, mm -hmm. um, like serious, genuine, supportive folks doing everything they can to help you succeed. And we appreciate it. Definitely. So the number three thing that we wish we had known before we joined e for all was that everyone involved is actually, truly volunteering. Like, this is mind blowing, you guys. The, the judges, the, app, the application readers, the um, interview panel, all of the mentors, our fellow co cohort going through this program. I mean, they're really, truly there to see, help you succeed voluntarily. It's amazing. Um, we heard a rumor that Kristen and Kai might, you know, skim off the top a little bit and very well-deserved salary. In fact, give them a raise. <laughs> they deserve a raise like right now. <laughs> yeah. That was the third. So number two, you can't half-ass it. Trust me. We tried just a little bit. <laughs> Don't think for a second that you can treat e for all like a walk in the park. Yeah. Um, 
you think you can sail through it and just get an A by reading the Cliffs Notes. Uh, but this program, you have to show up. You need to do the work, read the things, do the pre-class videos, participate in discussions, because it's all designed with the intention for you to succeed. So like most things, you get out of it what you put in. So it's time to step out of your comfort zone and be prepared for shit to get real. Yes, definitely. <laughs> shit to get real. <laughs> the number one, the number one drum roll, the number one thing we didn't know when we signed up for e for all was that you are joining a family. Okay, Jenny just talked about this and we didn't know this, but you are being adopted into this incredible, amazing family. And the e for all folks, they don't care about your background, your education or lack of education or experience or lack of an experience. They don't even care about your perceived flaws. They just care about you and you thriving in this community. And that is like mind blowing this supportive family that you get to become a part of and uh, be prepared. You're going to get initiated <laughs> into this uh, not so secret society of, of amazing supportive people. And we're truly grateful. Yay. So those are the things we wish we knew when we had joined e for all Yeah. But now we're going to move on to an even better list. Sorry, e for all There's a better list. Yeah. Uh, this is a list of all the wonderful humans that make up our cohort. And um, we just want to take some time and say congratulations to all of you. So I'm going to start with Nolan of Nolan's Nana Bread. Uh, he is driven and passionate and a wonderful baker of the best banana bread in the world. So congratulations, Nolan. Yeah. <laughs> Next is Kayla of the Spiritual Spectrum. Her kindness and her intuition are genuine. And she's graciously helping others with their spiritual self-care. So congratulations, Kayla. And there's Margot of Communication Savvy. She's experienced and talented, and so many nonprofits will benefit from her expertise. Congratulations, Margot. <laughs> Ashley of Willow & Co. Her incredible creativity and eye for detail will result in beautiful interiors on Cape Cod and beyond. So congratulations, Ashley. Yay. Next up is Naticia of Mini Me Clothing Boutique. Tisi's drive, wit, and sense of style help busy women look and feel fantastic. Congratulations, TC. Yay. And we have Maraid, rhymes with parade, <laughs> from Harlow Creative. And with her extensive talent and fun personality, she'll help many small businesses and creative types promote themselves on social media and beyond. So congratulations, Maraid. Next up is Ashley of Ashley Irene Boutique, who just got a store. Yay, Ashley. Uh, she uses her genuine kindness and fashion sense to help all women create a wardrobe that showcases their unique personality and style. Congratulations, Ashley. And there's Emily of the Pans Party Project. And her experience and insight help overwhelmed parents feel a sense of kinship. Congratulations, Emily. And rounding out our cohort is Shauna of Peregrine's Hall. Her intelligence, humor, and drive will help her create a vibrant co-working <laughs> space that we can't wait to join. Congratulations, Shauna. Oh. Well, last but not least, oh, one more. We have Monica and Candace of uh, Glass Over Tea Kettle who's a uh, charm and talent and going beauty and yes. Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, we create our world famous stained glass masterpieces. So congratulations to us. Yeah. <laughs> I want to add a quick note about, I want to acknowledge Jeremy and Liz who were part of our cohort. They couldn't complete the program, but they were part of our journey and their contributions were appreciated. So thank you. Yeah. So in closing, we just want to acknowledge all of the mentors, guest speakers, and everyone who have contributed their time and expertise uh, throughout the whole Accelerator course. Congratulations to all of you for helping so many entrepreneurs launch their businesses. And also, e for all Cape Cod would be nothing, literally nothing, without Kristen and Kai. So incredible knowledge. Uh, Woo! <laughs> 
Tireless work efforts behind the scenes make this program possible. So congratulations to Kristen and Kai for transforming clueless entrepreneurs into capable business owners. It's true. Thank you so much. And once again, we want to thank everyone involved on every level of e for all And like Jenny said, the CAPE needs us. This is a community. We're here. We're happy to be here no matter what missteps come our way. And we're part of this incredible family. So now we get to learn the secret, secret handshake. handshake uh, and let's raise a glass in celebration. Congratulations. Yay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, Chris, can I just, can I just say um, to Monica and Candace, uh, I got nothing on you guys. Next time I'm going to make you go first. And then I'm actually going to go after you because I'm going to pull bits and pieces of yours into what I'm saying. So congratulations to you guys. You're amazing. Yay. Yeah, let's Jenny, give it up. Jenny, let's such a great speech. Play. Thanks so much, Candace and Monica. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah! <laughs> guys so well prepared i'm still stuck on number one i'm like were they gonna quit were they gonna quit <laughs> uh, we all want so to glad. quit sometimes <laughs> yeah, i'm so glad all of us. <laughs> that we that we're landing here on the showcase and celebration so as we are getting pretty close to some check presentations but we have one stop before that happens and thank you so much to will rubenstein for being here today to um talk to us a little bit about e forever um, because it is kind of the next, the natural ne next step for a lot of e for all folks. So e for all folks, e for all launches businesses, and e forever tends to help them grow and thrive. So with that, I'll hand it over to Will. Thanks, Kristen, um, and thank you, Jenny, for the kind words that you said earlier. Um, we we're really proud that we could do something smart and use our wonder twin powers to activate during the summer of 2020 when camp couldn't operate and you needed a kitchen and that really all did work out really beautifully. Um, and so congratulations to you and to where, um, where you're headed, which is truly incredible. Um, nothing better than listening to one more person talk before the money is given out. So thank you so much to, to Kai and to Kristen for putting me right before the giving out of the money. Uh, so I have zero pressure, I guess, to keep this short, but I'll say it very simply, which is um, being an entrepreneur can be lonely. And I can tell you that for Sandy and I, uh, having owned Camp Wingate Kirkland, this is our 19th year, um, we are still learning things. And sometimes we just feel kind of like alone, like who else is going through this stuff? And part of the reason why I decided to work for Entrepreneurs Forever or E Forever is because what we do through our peer groups is reduce loneliness, literally. And how do we do that? Well, we have peer groups that meet once a month on Zoom for two hours. And literally it's a time to work on your business, not in it. And I think for some of us who feel that alone, um, the ability to fly up to 10,000 feet and sort of take a step back um, while listening to some of your fellow Cape Cod business owners and, and helping them, supporting them as they are figuring out what to do about hiring or firing or, you know, monthly reports. What are those? All those issues are totally normal. And when you're in a place that is confidential and safe and surrounded by support, much like e for all um, that's what an e forever peer group can do for you. On top of all of that, it's not just random complaining. There is a trained facilitator who helps manage the conversation and deliver some quality in terms of our curriculum, which we've developed over the last seven years um, in seven or eight different areas of business, as you can imagine, including vision and mission and sales and operations and HR and finances and things like that. So um, we have three groups. We're really proud that three groups are now up and running here on the Cape. We also have three groups running on the South Coast and our first group in Rhode Island, beautiful, beautiful ocean state of Rhode Island is launching on Tuesday. So if you know entrepreneurs in any of those three areas or you're interested in joining yourself, the only thing you have to do is contact me, which is super wicked, easy, awesome and help and really not a big deal. Um, I'll put my email address in the chat. Um, if you're one of those people that would rather 
not listen to the guys talking to you on the Zoom, then you can come and attend a really cool thing that we do a week from Friday called Caffeinate Your Company. And it's just 30 minutes where we actually run some exercises and you can find out what is this voodoo? What is this peer group thing? And try it out for yourself. Um, the way to register for that is also to email me. So I guess you can't get around me. But um, the bottom line is we are really fortunate for our uh, partnership with e for all um, We are working right alongside them on the Cape, on the South Coast, soon to be in Rhode Island, as well as all over Massachusetts. And our friends in Buffalo have now launched together, which is pretty cool. So I hope you'll consider um, for either you or an entrepreneur that you do know who might benefit from a little more support as they move on through their journey um, to consider E Forever. Um, and lastly, I just want to thank Kristen and Kai. Um, as someone who also is an alum of E For All, um, I am through the looking glass now and able to um, give back as a mentor this year. And it has been an incredible honor um, to be a part of Team Nolan. So I just want to thank Kristen and Kai for all that they do. And I know that all of you feel the same way. Thank you so much. Back to the big checks, please. Thank you, Will. We appreciate you um, and appreciate you taking the time to tell us about E Forever and, you know, some more. Uh, the support does not stop um, just because they've made it through the first three months of the accelerator or through the first year of the accelerator. So appreciate your role in helping us keep the community rolling. Um, so I want to just take a minute before we get started on awards, and I'm gonna ask my entrepreneurs, I would like you to think back to the very beginning. Think about where you started when you filled out that application and you had to answer questions like, where will your business be financially in three to five years? Or who's your customer segment and what research have you done? Or, oh my God, the sheer panic when we said you're going to be doing 18 months worth of budget projections. I'd like you just to take a minute and I'd like you to recognize that you guys have learned all of those things. You've accomplished all of those things. And I want you to just take a few seconds to really be proud of what you've done here because this isn't, it isn't easy. It asks all of you to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and you had to get, do a lot of work to get to this point. So can we start off and can I ask everybody on the group, can you all unmute? And I would like um, a round of applause for everybody who's made it to this point. Can we hear it for them? Yeah. 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 Woo. Woo. So, you know, this program is really about what you've taken away from it, what you've learned, the relationships that you've built and will continue to build, the challenges that you've overcome, it's not about the money. In fact, if you remember, you guys had your accelerator kick off and I said, I'm gonna to talk to you about money and then we're not gonna talk about it again until showcase. And some of you actually said to me towards the end, like, oh, I forgot there's money. Yes, mission accomplished. However, there is a little bit out there. Um, and so we're gonna take some time and we're gonna award some money tonight. Um, and uh, we're gonna do it as we do everything with e for all we're gonna do it with some help from some volunteers. Um, so tonight we're starting with a special award to a member of our cohort. It's called the Paula Buxbaum Award. Paula was an entrepreneur in our e for all Berkshire County, Massachusetts fall 2021 cohort. Um, we teamed up with these guys for some of our classes. We got a chance to get to know them. Unfortunately, Paula lost her life in a tragic car accident. Paula had recently ret retired from a career devoted to children and youth to begin her own vintage clothing shop called Bucks Vintage in Williamstown, Massachusetts. Um, she didn't only sell clothes and accessories. She offered a refuge for local kids to hang out and was always there for anyone who needed her. In her honor, we are offering a $500 award to an individual who is making a difference in their community by making their social mission and outreach a key part of how they do business. And so I'm going to ask um, for some help from some of my, um, for, from some of my volunteers 
um, to go ahead and talk to us about who is getting awarded the Paula Buxbaum Award, guys. Oh, we're here. We're so excited. Ah, let's see. Knock on that door. Knock, knock, knock. Anybody coming? <laughs> I see a little boy. <laughs> this is the best part. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I have this for you. Yay. 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 Yeah, yeah, Emily. <laughs> big check, a big check. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Very Thank you. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. We'll take a quick picture of you two. Okay. Aww. Congratulations. We love to you, Emily. Emily. Do this without the camera. Congratulations to Emily of the Fans Party Project. We're so excited um, to see this money awarded to you. Um, we're going to next up, we're going to move on to our next set of um, volunteers. And we're going to ask um, for a little bit of help from Stephanie Viva and Jay Patekos. All right, we're coming. We're coming across the lawn right now. <laughs> I feel like a robber. Hold on. <laughs> I've got to flip my screen so you can get Jay, who's run literally running across the lawn. Oh, we were worried we were going to get arrested. <laughs> Let's go! Ah! Congratulations! Yay! Up, Nolan! <laughs> Yay, Nolan! Yeah, Nolan! Congratulations! Woo -hoo! I know, right? Woo -hoo! Nolan! Woo -hoo! Take a screenshot! I got it! Woo -hoo! Come on, then! <laughs> Thank you so much, and uh, keep spreading happiness, everyone. Right? Before we get arrested. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Whee! Stay safe, all right? Job. That's my little Bye. brother. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so, congratulations to Nolan Liskoff of Nolan's Nana Bread. He's been awarded three thousand dollars, which he can use towards his commercial mixer and wholesale he asked for. fees. He got what he asked for. Congratulations, <laughs> Nolan. Wow. Hey, right. Nolan. <laughs> um, next up, um, we're looking for a little bit of help um, from our next set of uh, um, volunteers. So, Megan. Hi, everyone. Amy. We're here. We're hiding in the woods. <laughs> this is the sketchiest thing we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> But we're excited. <laughs> we were standing on the side of the road. But we thought we were going to get hit by a car. So here we are. I'm really glad you didn't. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my I told you guys. I told you. That we <laughs> 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 Take your, take your big check. <laughs> for freezing. Are you freezing? No, you're not freezing. We're fine. Oh, oh my. my. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Thank you so much. I'm wearing your necklace, Amy. <laughs> my E for All Alum necklace. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you guys oh. so much. Oh my God, where are you parked? Congratulations. Don't worry about it. To <laughs> Monica and Candice of Glass Over Tea Kettle, um, who's been thank awarded $3,000. Um, and Yay. they'll be able to use that $3,000 towards a new grinder, tools, safety equipment, and a workbench. We are super excited for you. Um, I have one more group of uh, um, one more group of volunteers to ask for some help. Uh, so, Glova, are you ready? Oh, yeah, yes, we are. We are. Ready and ready All to right. go. All right. All right, let's go. Go for it. All right, hold on. Let me turn the camera. 
<laughs> Maybe oh. ring the doorbell. <laughs> oh, she's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's awesome. You deserve it. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is so well deserved for all your hard work. Yeah, sure. Congratulations, um, Ashley. Wait, 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 Irene Boutique. From the, from you yeah. have been awarded $5,000, which you can use towards a portable changing room, a camera, a rack, a mannequin. Uh, hangers, a barcode printer, and lights. Um, we are super excited for you, for everyone, for all of you. Um, really um, excited for everybody who's been part of this program, everything that you've been able to accomplish, everything that got you here. Um, I hope that you guys are all really proud of yourselves right. and what you've accomplished during this process. Um, because you absolutely deserve all of the kudos uh, for not quitting, for making it all the way through, um, and for having faced some challenges head on, for having overcome lots of obstacles to get you to this point, and for having accomplished so much. Um, congratulations, guys. Can we unmute and get one more round for everybody? Woo! Yay! 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 Awesome. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> amazing job all right Kristen you want to bring us home yeah I just want to say thank you so much uh, as as it's so apparent how much we rely on volunteers Amanda and I are you know sitting in our in our houses and the volunteers are like out all over the community with the big checks um and just so excited for the folks um can't wait to see some of this money get to get put to good use um and this is about half of it and so we have plenty more money to spread out over the rest of the year um, as folks set goals uh, to, to kind of help people in the cohort move forward. Uh, so couldn't be prouder of the businesses that are launching. Thanks so much for the volunteers, mentors, family for being here tonight. Um, let's keep celebrating. Go grab some food, go grab some drinks. Um, and can't wait to see you all as, as the, the um, months progress here. So thank you so much for coming tonight. Uh, we are going to be logging off. Thank you. Great job. Congratulations, everyone. Nice work.